Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. Uh, in this video, I'll be starting with a new topic. It's called Shiny. So you must be wondering what is Shiny here? Uh, Shiny is nothing but an open source R package which provides an elegant and powerful web framework for building web applications. In a, in a simple layman words, if you, are, uh, if you want to uh, convert your analysis into some web app, and you don't know the uh, HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, then Shiny uh, will, will help you in this case, right? So Shiny is an open source package which will convert your, your code, your analysis, whatever you have, like whatever graph you have made into a, into a web application, okay? And there is a no need uh, that the, the, the one should be having knowledge of HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, right? That's the point uh, of today's video that I uh, will be uh, seeing today how we can create an app using the shiny uh, in this because it's a, just an introductory video i'll not be going in that detail i'll be starting with the basic uh, little uh, thing which i can uh, which i'll be displaying in front of you first of all let's check out the basic workflow of uh, shiny app development it says that write some code start the app play with the app write some code and repeat it means it's a cyclic process right you write some code okay start the app and again you write uh, you just appended some more code and again you start the app and repeat it's a cyclic process and how we can uh, work with that for that the prerequisite is that you should be having a package called shiny okay so we all know that how we can install a package with the installed all packages command we can simply give the shiny as a, a keyword in a double quotes so we need to load the library shiny then only we can start with the shiny uh, web web app development right so uh, in the case of your r you already having one example available let's let's call this okay first of all i'll be showing you how this shiny uh, thing look like okay so uh, for that i'll be opening up uh, my r studio uh, sorry my r console although i've also have opened up the r studio server here, here as well first of all i'll show you how the means this this example look like okay i'll be just copy and pasting this code and you can see it here on the web browser we got the hello world program okay it's the like dynamic uh, you can see it like it's a dynamic uh, uh, web page in which if i'm just changing this uh, this this uh, like na, a you can see in my cursor okay i'm just changing the number of bins accordingly the histogram is changing this is a like uh, uh, the given example or the inbuilt example in R. This is how this is what Shiny is all about. In which you are just running your code on the browser. You are just running your uh, app on the browser. All right. This is the point. So we'll be just be creating a very simple little app in which we something got will be printing. We'll be printing something on the uh, on this uh, HTML uh, page. All right. This is the point. So let's let's come back to this uh, text editor. So what are the important key components of every Shiny app? whatever the app you create okay so it will be having two major parts the user interface which we abbreviate as ui and which defines how your app looks and one uh, what we also have a server function which defines how your app works so we have a major two components available so uh, shiny also make use of a reactive programming to automatically update outputs when input change it means like when you change the input the output will change the, the way i've shown you that if i was if i was changing the uh, number of bins accordingly the histogram uh, got changed so for that just just uh, look into this very basic little code which i'll be running it today so in which we have a library uh, got loaded then we have a one function called fluid page so what is fluid page uh, it's nothing but uh, like we can create an empty user interface using a fluid page function and it, it will do nothing right this little piece of code which you can see it here it will do nothing here we are just uh, calling the library shiny to load the shiny package and uh, it will it will just define the user interface all right which will be doing with a fluid page and uh, here we'll be printing something unboxing big data i'll be just be printing unboxing big data with this little uh, piece of code and here we have a server function available it just specify the behavior of our app okay and it's currently empty so my app will do nothing uh, all right and at last it will be executing the shiny app uh, UI server to construct and uh, start a shiny application from UI and server. So let's do it. Uh, how we can uh, start with this? Uh, as I've already have opened up this uh, R Studio server here, simply go to the file. Uh, uh, now go to the new file and go to the shiny web app. All right. And here give this give some name. Okay. I'm giving a name maybe uh, today. Today's today something right. So create. Okay. It's already there. Let me. Uh, change this 
न्यू फाइल शाइनी वेब ऐप ओके डमी ऐप समथिंग डमी ऐप I just given the name, and you can see it here. Uh, you must be observing one thing here: the way we have done in the R markdown when we made the uh, document. Uh, in case if you haven't watched my video, uh, how we can uh, st get, uh, like get start with the R markdown? We have made some little document with the R markdown, and when we selected the R markdown option, uh, we were getting the uh, template. Okay, in this case also, I've just uh, create uh, just uh, go with the. creation of the web app i got a template available all right so in which everything is already in built so what i have to do a library shine is already been loaded fluid page function is already there so what i'll be doing i'll just be removing everything from here okay uh, let me remove and i'll be simply putting here unboxing big data as my input string simple okay here you can see it here i've written as a comment that we are adding a text to a shiny app it's done by adding the text inside the fluid page as an argument so we'll be printing only unboxing big data which is my channel name so simple it's done and then what i'll be doing and this server function will do nothing as you can see it here we just have a empty function so let's make it empty we don't require this histogram thing okay i'm just removing this everything from here it is nothing simple so now now let's run this okay how we can run this click on the run app okay just check it out when i click on the run app option again i got the browser opened up automatically and i got this unboxing big data got written over there right so this this um, uh, marks the end of this video we just have uh, get started with the shiny web app in the next video i'll be just uh, showing you how we can go with the advanced option of shiny web app all right thanks for watching guys see you next video